So what's going on everybody? It's about uh, 8 o'clock at night. I'm being quiet because my son is asleep in the other room. With my fancy schmancy lamp in my office back there. I'll show you a little bit. Some cool stuff. Whole bunch of books I'm reading. Um, but just wanted to do a quick update. Actually because I'm getting a message from someone. We're kind of going back and forth. Just want to talk about like what's going on. So about a week out from going back to the orthopedist and finding whether I could do PT or not. Um, <clears throat> definitely having just a, a mental struggle um, right now. Where, listen, I, I know there are worse things in life, and I'm not a crybaby, but it's just so frustrating for someone who likes to train to basically have to sit around and not be able to train in full capacity in the other way, shape, or form. And I'm not the guy who's going to sit on my ass and do nothing. So I've been doing cardio and training legs and doing something to train the right side of my body, at least for a while. And, you know, it's not just the bicep that's going to need rehab, if you think about it. Um, the tricep has atrophied. My shoulder has atrophied. I haven't been using my left pec. I haven't been using the lats and, you know, the, the, the uh, lats and the spinal rectors on the left-hand side. So it's that whole side that... It's going to have to come back and be used again. Um, and the way I look at it is I was making such great progress. This is basically a year of lost time. And for everybody who competes, you understand that. It's like it's a year of lost time. At the same time, I want you to understand that there are worse things in life. There are terminal illnesses. There are many other blessings that I have that I need to start realizing more or being happier about um, just to be honest for the past several years um, I've pushed myself really really hard in a lot of areas of my life and I was always like well you know next week it'll be easier next month I'll take a break next year I'll back off on all of these particular projects and things like that going on and I have not done a very good job of really taking care of my, my overall well-being. Um, physically, I've pushed myself to the limit. That's probably why this injury happened. But mentally, um, my biggest strength is my biggest flaw. Where I can just grind and 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 grind and, grind and, grind and just keep pushing. When I shouldn't, I do. Um, so that means in training when I'm overly exhausted, don't take a rest, I do it anyway. Um, you know, when there's other things that need my attention that are important, I will push them to the bottom of the priority list and put other things over the top of it and forget what I need to take care of. Um, because I tend to put a lot of other things before myself, um, and a lot of other things before my family. And other things that just aren't smart. Um, so I want to thank you to everyone who's been uh, messaging me, checking and seeing how I'm doing. I'm just sitting here kind of biding my time, waiting to get the green light for physical therapy so that I can at least start rehabbing and kind of resuming a normal life. But at the same time, it's, mean, it's allowed me some downtime. It's allowed my body to heal from a lot of the pounding and non-rest that I was giving it for the past <laughs> couple years. Uh, as I probably mentioned in previous videos, even during my contest prep, um, my wife kept questioning if it was really a good idea, but I pushed to do it anyway. And though the contest prep went well and I did well for my season, maybe it wasn't the best time. She may have been right. Who knows? Probably why this injury occurred, to be honest. Um, and I'm not blaming bodybuilding for that as my damn choice. I'm a grown ass adult making my own decisions. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I want to read, educate myself on, build more of my, my client business. And a lot of that stuff was just falling to the wayside. Something as stupid as watching some television shows that I really wanted to watch or movies I wanted to watch got put on the back burner forever because I was just too focused on other things. And I, I just... There's a time for balance, and um, I think that this has 
starting to shed some light on that. And I really need to start focusing on some other things just besides work and competing. Um, start to enjoy some things more. Start to make some more plans, see the world. Um, not just pride myself on grinding in the gym and how many ridiculous hours I can work. Um, and just assume that everything's going to be okay when I'm done doing that. Because things could happen where relationships are gone, uh, lose friends, lose family, lose a lot of things. So just where I'm at, but it just, uh, like I said, this is, it's, it's a mind game. It's a major, major mind game. And even though I know there are worse things in this life, I'm logical, but at the same time, emotion still takes over. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave it down below.